Now let's see how Windows can put a head to any headless device. Here we have a wheel connected to a Raspberry Pi 3 running Windows 10 IoT Core. The wheel represents a common situation in robotics, when you need to know exactly how fast a robot's going or how far it's traveling. Here I have a display connected to the Raspberry Pi 3. You can see the speed of the wheel, the speed I've chosen, and the power output to the motor. But real world systems deal with real world problems like friction. Let me offer some frictional force. We see exactly what we expect. The speed of the wheel slows down, but the power output to the motor stays the same. Let's do another take where I apply the bar again, this time with the closed loop control setting on. You'll see that the Raspberry Pi increases power output to the motor to maintain a relatively stable RPM. With Windows 10 IoT Core and the Raspberry Pi 3, you can now build these types of high-speed closed loop feedback control systems. But let's take it a step further. Sometimes you don't want a display connected to your device. Here we have a tablet running Windows 10. That's running an app that was downloaded from the Microsoft Store. Windows 10 IoT Core allows the Raspberry Pi 3 to remote its UI experience to this tablet. The Raspberry Pi receives touch data from the tablet as well as accelerometer data. You can see here the wheel is being controlled by the accelerometer inside this tablet. Windows 10 IoT Core on the Raspberry Pi 3 is designed to interact with the physical world and empower your applications to do the same. You can use the remote sensor functionality from your Windows 10 capable device and program it onto your Raspberry Pi 3. By enabling remote UI, touch input, and sensor data readings, Windows 10 puts a head on any headless device. That's the power of Windows 10 IoT Core and the Raspberry Pi 3.